I am going to be showing you in this lesson how to make the first few rows of this pattern. Now you can use this to make a scarf. I think it would make an absolutely awesome scarf. I am not going to be making the whole thing as I have a sore wrist from crocheting and have had for a long time. That is why you haven't seen any tutorials. But what I thought I could do is start the first couple of rows off and then you guys, because this is a simple pattern, you guys just keep going with it and you can make your scarf as long as you like. You could use this to make a square which you could stitch together to make a blanket in different colours or you could use it to make a dishcloth. I think it would be an awesome dishcloth. It's got some ridges on it so it would be pretty cool to use. And I'm sure there's plenty of other ideas that you could use this basic pattern for. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. We want to chain 26 and then putting our finger on the last chain, not the one on the hook, the one next to it, we want to chain three. And then we want to go back down into the chain that we are holding and work a double crochet. Now this counts as two stitches. Now we want to make one double crochet in each chain space across. So we have our 27 stitches, including our first chain 3, 27 altogether, once you chain up 3. And turning our work, we want to work into the first, oh sorry, the second stitch because our first one is here and we have our chain 3. So our next one we want to work into the front of the work. So going next to the stitch, going underneath and out the other side, we now want to work our double crochet. So going into the next stitch, next to the stitch, around the back of the stitch, yarning over and working our double crochet. Now the next three stitches we are going to work into the back of our piece. So yarning over, going around the back of our work, into the space before the stitch, over the top, into the next space, and then working our stitch as normal. Yarning over, going around the back to the gap, over the stitch, and into the next gap, and then working it normally. Next one around the back as well. So going around the back of our work into the gap over the stitch into the next gap working as normal. So our next one we want to work three stitches around the front of our work. If I keep stopping it's just because my yarn keeps catching. So around the front around the front again around the front again that's three in the front and now we want three in the back
sorry if I've just disappeared there. So that's three in the back, but now we want to do three in the front. So yarning over into the front of our work, going behind the stitch. Right into the front of our work, around the stitch. Around the front of our work, behind the stitch. That's three around the front. So our next ones need to go around the back. So going to the back of our work, around the stitch. There we go, around the back. And around the back again. And this first row is what establishes our pattern. Well, it's actually our second row, but our first row of our funny looking double crochets. So around the front now, because we went around the back last time, so around the front of our work. Going in behind the stitch. For three stitches. Now we need to go around the back of our work. We should have three stitches left. So now, because we went around the back of our work, we're now going around the front. And on the last two, we just go around the front of our work. We're just doing that. And on our last stitch, we're just going to work a normal double crochet. So that it evens it up on each end. 